Yo, what's good, Hot Peppers? You can pause the video at any given time, but just so you know that we're gonna have to change some settings and a little bit of uh, attachments before we get into the Time 99. So before we do that, you're gonna go to your settings, go over to your controller. I use 20, 20 cents for anybody that's curious. You wanna go over to the gameplay. You wanna hit target aim assist mode, press square on it, or if you're on Xbox, X, it'll be X. Uh, target aim assist mode, I have it on focusing. I would recommend precision for anyone that has used precision or maybe focusing on Cold War. I definitely would recommend that. Basically makes the aim assist a lot stronger. Um, same thing with automatic tactical speed sprint along with the aim response curve type which would be in the uh let me see if i can try to find it real quick for you guys oh right here so aim response curve type under the tab of controller and the controller again uh it's mine is linear if you were using standard or dynamic in cold war then definitely use that and then for my dead zone i use 0, 06 and 99 um this is pretty much what i use and what i find that is most helpful for me when it comes to stopping with the time 99 and actually just any sniper in general in this game makes the time thing so much easier so anyways let's get into the attachments you can use those settings if you want but of course adjust them to whatever you feel comfortable with so let's begin muzzle break l break you want to have the uh increase on accuracy under barrel the smle pistol grip sprint to fire speed in this game is really ass, so you definitely want to have this on and then the magazine this helps out with the damage you get a lot of hit markers with this so i know a lot of you guys have complained about the time 99 getting a lot of hit markers so if you rock this attachment you're gonna be good to go and then for your next attachment you want lengthened this is help this helps you out in long shots um personally sometimes i use subsonic if i know i'm not going to play like a long range map if i'm going to play like close range such as uh that's the haws whatever that map is called the one that's like the, like the new town of this game if that makes any sense that's what i use fmj rounds don't really help that much unless you're going for wall bangs but um pretty much lengthen is the meta in my opinion uh fabric grip is the next attachment if you're leveling up your attachments then definitely go straight for the leather grip and just rock out with that until you get the fabric grip because this sniper zooms in slow but also it has a lot of like hit markers so you want to make sure that when you're leveling it up you know what attachments to use and you know and stuff like that so anyways proficiency you want to rock out with focus get that flinch resistance and then for your kit i recommend fully loaded um if you're leveling it up definitely surplus is really helpful because it says plus one kill xp and not only that like if you're leveling up just in general surplus is really helpful you could do deep breath you want to have the hold breath duration for like your camos if you're trying to hard scope across the map you know stuff like that so definitely those are the ones i recommend using and then for your stock i use the sakura custom you can use a remove stock but it's a lot of like flinch resistance that you do not want to sacrifice and the sway is like absolutely insane so definitely the custom barrel or the custom stock sorry you want to have the ads and the accuracy increase on this one so that one's definitely going to be the meta so uh optic optic there's two maybe three attachments out i would recommend if you want to try out whichever one for sniping like quick scoping definitely the time 97 5x telescope this is really nice it says that it decreases the ads speed but it's not even that bad i'll obviously throw up some gameplay later in this video to, for you guys to be able to see what i was able to do but the other attachment that i was using in this video too which is obviously the thumbnail and you guys are like what the heck like what the heck why would you not have a scope on it but if you guys want to like have a little cheat system definitely factory iron sights because the ads is great the aim assist is great like you can play super aggressive with this it's like almost like you're using the marksman rifle but it's like a one shot so i highly highly recommend factory iron sights if you just like the regular scope you don't have to put on the optic um, personally i just think that the factor iron sights is definitely in the meta and then i have heard some people recommend the type 99 10x telescope you can try that as well but personally i just find the factor iron sights and the type 97 5x telescope the meta for this weapon and then the last attachment i would recommend is the shirashi short i don't know it's just a short barrel basically increase ads speed and sprint to fire speed it decreases the bullet velocity but just remember we have the lengthened ammo type to make up for that and then for the rest of the class setup what i was rocking was uh secondary pistol I'm still leveling this up, so I don't know if I would recommend this. But if you want to, you can rock Ninja, Tracker, and Lightweight, or Ghost, Tracker, and Lightweight, depending on what game mode you're playing. If you're playing, obviously, Search and Destroy, you want to rock Ninja. And then Perk 2, I've noticed that Tracker is extremely helpful. I found a lot of situations where I'm trying to find the enemy and I can't find where they went because I don't really have my game volume like turned up all the way. So if you don't have a headset, definitely, that's very helpful. Um, if anything, you could use Ford Intel or Piercing Vision. Like Ford Intel allows you to know where the enemies are going to be spawning, and then Piercing Vision, kind of like it's almost like walls. It's kind of crazy, but I just prefer Tracker. I don't know. I definitely need to try out the second perk. Uh, but for the third perk, Lightweight, one million percent. If not Overkill, if you want to rock like two snipers, and if you guys want to know how to do a double sniper class setup, as in like literally two Type 99s or two Car 98s, two of the same weapons in one class setup, there will be a card on the top right of the screen, or will be a link down below in the description for you guys to go check out if you guys want to 
do that glitch. I uh, did it with my Car 98K, and I'm still trying to level it up right now. So be sure to go check that out that video. Also, guys, I completely forgot in this video, but make sure you change your ADS field of view and your graphics. Go under gameplay. Uh, just hit square or X, whatever. And then uh, under field of view, it should say ADS field of view. Make sure you change that to independent if you have it on affected before. This is really good for iron sights. And then if you're just sniping regularly, you can just go back to affected. I've been using independent. Usually I use affected for like war zone or even cold war for whatever reason. Also for camera movement, put it to 50% and thank me later. And also motion blur off. Uh, we'll do a full settings video sometime in the future. Don't worry. Sometime this week. I promise. If you're still sticking around, if you want to know how I was doing with the time 99 with the scope or the iron sights, just keep watching this video and also be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you guys are new with the notification bells on to be informed with the number one source of sniping content on YouTube. Oh, I just got a quad head, but it split. I didn't know you were followed that long, Prodigy. What the? <sighs> Dude, I'm definitely feeling this. No, that should have been a collat, chat. What? Oh! Oh! I should have had a triple. What the? Oh, is. I don't even know. Well, it was the one that had like the three story construction side. Oh, yeah, so it is a Mazda. We got three heads up. No! Next, not the Series X. Oh, okay. It's still good, though. Can't complain. It's actually better than four, in my opinion. And then just can bunny hop around the corner and boom right there. Oh, I just got sniped. Oh, I just got sniped. Say I won't get a quad head. Oh, they should have been a collab, bro. Yeah, you don't want to drop shot. You want to literally jump. That's what I did on Infinite Warfare, like where you press the right stick to jump instead of going crouch or knifing. You can change it to that if you wanted. It's weird, like it's gonna it's gonna take a while to get used to though. But if you know, it's like it's easiest way to oh jump when you don't have a scuff. Yeah, there's no. <laughs> this chick said, yeah, there's no way. Oh, yeah, you're fucking... <laughs> I'm getting some great reactions right now. Oh, they're definitely up top. I'm gonna drop down. Oh, there's a female on the other team? Yeah, you hear? Yeah, I just... It's too long. That's pretty epic, I'm gonna lie. I pre-fired. Doesn't tell you if they're up top or bottom or what. Yeah, they're up top. Yeah, I know, but like the harp. Oh, there we go. Or the advanced UAV. So like, you have to get three UAVs to get it advanced. So if your teammate has one, you can call one in and we get a uh, advanced. So we just, oh, if we all rock cool. UAVs, we can have like an advanced UAV. They all left. No way, bro. No, I wanted reactions. Oh, collat. And there was only two people. 